Alex ended his interview by saying President Obama's actually handled Afghanistan worse than President Bush did. And for a liberal novelist to say that is is one measure of the ineptitude on display here. And I wouldn't be surprised, would you, James Rosen, to see that Rose Garden picture surface in the elections of uh, November 2014 in some places. I wouldn't be surprised, particularly if the trend of disclosure in the case follows its present trajectory. Now, I reported for Fox News on Monday for our website, foxnews.com, uh, that there is a major classified file associated with Sergeant Bergdahl that has been compiled by the intelligence community, and that many in that community uh, are harbor uh, ongoing, outstanding, and serious concerns uh, uh, that Sergeant Bergdahl may not have just been a deserter, but that he may have been an active collaborator with the enemy. Now, of course, it, it, we must state that all Americans including Sergeant Bergdahl, are entitled to a presumption of innocence. Uh, But I can report accurately, as I have, that there are many in the intelligence community who uh, harbor that concern. I am speaking presently with uh, a number of people in and out of the military, in and out of the government, in and out of the national security apparatus, if you will, uh, who are detailing further allegations to me, and which I'm trying to run to ground. Uh, But this has been a major area of focus. Uh, for some time now. The Daily Mail reported in 2010 on the strength of an interview with a named Taliban commander in their article that uh, Sergeant Bergdahl, as of that time, had already begun teaching the Taliban who were pres- ostensibly holding him captive uh, ambush skills and, and bomb-making uh, devices. So uh, there is already some anecdotal evidence of active collaboration But again, Sergeant Bergdahl is entitled to his day in court if these charges are are formally lodged. 